I'm Ed Riley from 7 Eyewitness News. Thanks to yesterday's windstorm, local tree companies are very busy. This is a crew from Greg's Tree Service in Buffalo. They were called out to a home in Amherst where a large silver maple came crashing through the roof of this house. And what's worse, the owners were out of town on vacation. But winter winds have also been causing widespread destruction because of all the dead ash trees that were killed off by the emerald ash borer beetle. The emerald ash borer has damaged the ash trees and they're dying and they're becoming so brittle, they're like a fine piece of china. A lot of trees, when they break off, uproot. They come up with the root system and that. These ash trees are snapping off at the base, and you get the full impact when they go the wrong way and hit the house, the pool, the cars, and things like that. In many cases, homeowners are waiting too long to have ash trees evaluated and treated. You don't need to focus on taking the tree down right away. You need to call an established, reputable, tree guy that can assess the tree and decide if it's worth investing the money to save the tree. Because if you do not invest in inoculating and saving the tree, you are going to lose it. No one, no ash tree is going to get out of this emerald ash borer alive unless it's treated. Now, some insurance companies are taking action if there are dead ash trees on your property. Some people are going to have to remortgage because the insurance companies are now coming at you and going, you have a dead ash tree on the property. We're not covering your homeowners because you have a liability. You know it. You're not dealing with it. Since the dead trees are so brittle, some municipalities are also taking action because of the threat they pose to your property and your neighbors. The town of Cheektowaga and town of Amherst uh, and La Lancaster, where I'm from, are starting to issue uh, tickets from the building inspector. If your neighbor calls and says, hey, you know, Steve has a dead ash tree, and uh, it, I'm worried about it falling. The building inspector will come out. He will take a look at it and he will issue a ticket and give you 30 days to get rid of that dead ash tree. So is there anything that homeowners can do? Well, we'll take a look at that issue tonight.